Welcome, Dr. Terry Bull, to Between Two Urns. Well, uh, it's very good to be here with you. We're glad to have you. Now, you are a bit of a mysterious person to our audience, and they would like, yeah, uh, you just did something with your eyebrows. Do they? Uh, uh, yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's a long story. Okay, all right. They look good. So one of my viewers, Jessica Marie, says, I watch your eyebrows when you're doing the videos. Do you shave them off and then fill them in later? Or is your brow just going bald? Well, either way, why would I shave them off and fill them in later? That's like, uh, I don't know, what's the analogy? It would be like, is that the one where you say taking a shower with a raincoat on, or is that for something else? Anyway, her comment suggests to me that maybe I, the eyebrows could use a little enhancement. So, before my big interview with Dr. Mark, I'm going to go ahead and have our assistant here fix the old eyebrows up because apparently they don't show up well enough. What do you think? Looks good. We good to go? Mm-hmm. All right. Ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. One of the questions about you is your career. Obviously, you've been a doctor for years, and we'd like for the viewers of the Terry Bold channel to know, what is your experience in medicine? The very first person I ever met was a doctor. I was six pounds, eight ounces, and this guy handled me as if... I... He manhandled you? No, he, he handled, guy handled he, you? No, yeah, well, you know, he's a guy, I'm a guy, whatever, you know? But uh, he treated me well. Oh, this is a good experience. He, he brought me out of a very dark place Okay. and brought me into the light. Do you remember how old you were at the time? About a minute. Oh, okay. What was his name? Or do you remember? Yeah, it was Oscar Schnitzelman. Dr. Oscar Schnitzelman. Brought you into this world? Absolutely. Many years ago. Great man. So I see you are still wearing the uh, awareness oh, yeah. ribbon. For yeah, make America poop again. Make America poop yeah. again. I, I have mine on my desk, I believe. Yeah. Uh, it fell off of my jacket several times. I followed your instructions exactly, but it keeps falling off. You know, I, I, I'm thinking, well, let's make America poop again. Maybe, maybe we change the slogan to let's keep things moving. You know, that's, that's oh, yeah. maybe, yeah, yeah. We don't want uh, backlogs in Congress, as it were. You know, we want to keep things moving. Gridlock, backlog. Gridlock, backlog, yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, anyway, I never, yeah, I never, I never got to see the president. However, it, it, good news, I am no farther away from being appointed. Because nobody's been appointed yet. That's absolutely right. That, there's, a, there's a guy there now, but, uh, you know. He's not appointed, though? He's, he's there. I think he's left over from the last administration. The yeah, I think so. Take you know, some time to, I guess the swamp doesn't just drain instantaneously. You mm -hmm. have to give it some time. He, yeah, exactly. You can't just drain it. And besides, I think he may have a slight... I don't know, I hate to say it, advantage, because I think his, his medical license is, uh, like, kind of real. Oh, well, I can yeah, see. I, yeah, I, that, you that know, would be a, a factor. I have a medical degree from Columbia. From Columbia, that's very impressive. It is. But apparently, here in the United States, they want it to be from the United States. So, oh, yeah. Okay. So not, I got I to work on that. Not Columbia, Missouri. No, no, it's a different Columbia. I was... Uh, yeah. Yeah, what, so you, that's where your degree is from, Columbia, international experience. Were you working in a particular specialty? At that time, I was in the pharmaceutical field. Pharmaceuticals out of Columbia. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what we're going to say. Okay. This, this makes me think of the 80s. It was. It yeah. was in the 80s, and uh, there was a great demand for uh, our product. For a pharmaceutical product out of Columbia in the 80s. Absolutely. And that, that's where you got your start. We'll have another video next week. Everybody stay tuned. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, what we would need to do is to have more questions from our viewers. They can that's write right. to me at drterrybull at... at Hotmail.com. That's the one. D-R-T-E-R-R-Y-B-U-H-L at Hotmail.com. And we'll, we'll put it in the description, a link, or right. put, put the email in the description so they can follow along. And they can certainly subscribe and put on notifications so they don't miss any of your upcoming videos. And I will, and I will operators are standing by to answer your questions. 
Keep them coming. He didn't give a number. Do you hear a siren? I do. Um, in fact, this would be a good time to end the interview. Okay, all right.